This activity is bubble printing or bubble painting, um, and it, it probably belongs instead with the printing portion of our class, but it's really a fun activity for young children and very sensory, so I wanted to include it here. I think uh, school-age children would in, in, really enjoy this. Um, really young children, like toddlers, probably shouldn't do this um, because there's, it's just involves too many motor skills on different levels. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this plastic straw, and this one is big, so I'm actually gonna cut this one in half. Um, hmm, and this is a little smaller than I wanted. Uh, to make sure that kids don't suck up the bubble liquid, um, a really nice trick is to just cut a little uh, sort of diamond shape in the straw near the top. And actually, I probably, probably put that too close to the top. You probably want it down here so that their lips aren't gonna cover and seal it. What it's going to do for them is make it so they can blow, but not suck back in because they won't be able to get the vacuum. So, um, so I would actually put it more down here. Let's do that with the other one. Um, so they have a little hole in the straw. Okay, and you can put one on both sides. I think one on one side is probably sufficient. All right, next I'm gonna make the liquid for the bubble printing and I really like to use tempera paint that's watered down um, some people use liquid watercolor I just I think this has better color it makes a nicer print so I'm gonna use my two colors here of tempera paint and then we need some soap so if you work in early childhood you may have heard this uh, important secret that we share that Dawn is the best soap for bubbles I don't have Dawn, so I'm gonna use this soap for today. So I'm gonna put some soap into each container. And now I'm gonna mix them up a little bit so that I can do my bubbles. So this one. So it should be really thin and watery. That's exactly the right consistency for this particular activity. This one. Now I will take my straw and I'm going to blow some bubbles. So the children can do it down here on the table. Okay, so now you see that big head of bubbles there and I have my bubble print. I think I'm going to add a little more red to this so I get a better color. Let's mix that up, see what we get. A second color but let's try this one more time mm -hmm. all right. now. there we go all right now let's try some yellow try this red It's pretty light. Let's try a little more paint in this one also. Looking to see how much paint I have on my face now. And try it again. probably have one straw per child obviously you don't want them to be sharing straws um, or one straw per child per color kind of depends on what you want to do here we go there we go all right and you can see we have the yellow and the red here on that okay so one other way to do bubble prints um, that we've done before in the children's center and it really is fun is um, just blowing bubbles and I don't have a bubble wand right now so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna substitute with this chenille stick that I made into a little bubble wand. And then, ooh, there we go. Yeah, that worked pretty well. So then you want, uh, I think we have to shake that off. And the children can blow the bubbles towards the paper. Now this one works so much better at an easel. 
Obviously you can't do the other kind of bubble printing on an easel, but this one would be really great to do um, with the cups in the easel and then blowing, because children are gonna be able to blow better that way um, than down. And you won't get as many drips. Um, I would recommend a little bit bigger, regular bubble wand for this, but you can experiment, see what works in your classroom. There we go. But yeah, it's making all sorts of really nice prints. Right. I'll take some pictures of this when it's done so you can see how it turns out.